All right, everybody. Uh, kind of got in some of the stuff I was waiting on, you know, for the uh, drone. I'd mentioned uh, before it was extremely hard for me to see what the drone was seeing and some of the options that you get through the app uh, looking at it on the, my smartphone. So I uh, had uh, purchased an a iPad. Uh, and we'll see how that works out. I'm really not uh, a big fan of Apple. But from what I read, uh, the uh, DJI app developer seems to prefer Apple over the Android. So apparently the Apple uh, DJI app is a little bit more stable. Whether it is or not, I don't know. Anyway, so he had that, and there were several holders that were available for this. This, this one here, and uh, let me put on my bifocals here. So what happens when you get old, and I don't like the regular bifocals. This is a Hellstar compatible tablet holder. It uh, works for either the Mavic or the Spark controller. They, uh, both of those controllers look uh, similar to the, the same. The difference is the Magnavec has a display here uh, and the uh, Spark does not. But other than that, it's the same, uh, same deal. And my phone is going in and out of roaming. That's why it's making that deal. I'm in the barn. Anyway, uh, so that being said, uh, if you're looking at a, a different holder, because you normally you put your smartphone in here which means you got to take it out of any case you got uh, and that's retarded but anyway that's just the way it works uh, so what they what they have is they have uh, a mount that will mount like either your smartphone or your tablet and and stuff and they have one that where it comes down on this arm right here that has a big plate that then goes right in here. And so then it sits up here. Uh, the problem with that is to me, this is to me now, is that it's gonna put the tablet right over the top so you can't see down in here to the buttons. Uh, once you get familiar with the, uh, everything that's on it, you probably can uh, uh, do it by feel. I know when I was flying the model helicopters and I had radio controllers that had switches all over them and slides and everything else. And I could operate all that but without looking at it, but it takes a long time. So I, I didn't want to go through that with this. This one here is a different one. Like I said, it's made to clamp around the uh, controller and it has an opening area here. So if you have the Mavic controller, which has that display, It'd be in here, and also on the on the uh, Spark controller, it has buttons in there, and then this just clips around it and stuff. So it basically, you know, just uh, goes on here like this. And let me uh, get this in here right. So it goes on there like that. We get it about centered between the controllers. We bring up the uh, bottom little clip part. And we push it up until, well, let me get it situated, until it clips on there and you get a good strong clip. And the reason it took a little bit of a little off center. Okay, so there we go. We're, we're on there. This is sitting here and the tablet will go up here. Now, of course, that means the tablet's going to be on the upside. It'll be a little bit heavy. It also has a hole here, supposedly for your lantern. Uh, this is so you can hang it around your neck. I haven't opened this. and I don't know if I can open it without any scissors and stuff, but I can go get some. All right, so we got the lantern. So what comes in the, uh, in the box is this comes in uh, the box for this uh, holder and it got a little felt bag that all this uh, holder pieces, the lantern, and then I bought it with the actual patch cable that goes from the Apple Lightning plug for the iPad and it goes into what's called the Android whatever 
uh, plug that goes into the bottom of here. So this allows you to plug your uh, iPad or smartphone directly into the controller, thereby eliminating the need to Wi-Fi connect the tablet or smartphone to the controller and, and uh, drone. And so uh, it just makes it uh, better uh, connection because uh, you're not doing a Wi-Fi connect there. Okay. So basically, uh, you can see this is going to go down in here. I don't know which way it is, whether it's that way or this way. That way. So that plugs in under there, which means I would want my uh, lightning port. I think that's what they call it on the uh, apples over here. So we're going to go ahead and look at this, and the lightning port is on this side. So now this is a trick. This this uh, spring on this thing is extremely strong. Uh, so I have found that just putting it in that top part and then pushing down, it comes straight in here. And now we would take <coughs> this. And if I can get myself situated here, and that plugs into the side of there. So now I have the direct connect uh, to the uh, to the deal. Like I said, if I wanted the lantern on it, the lantern supposedly will clip in there. I don't know if it will or not. Uh, yes, it does. So I mean, I could do that, and then hoo hoo hoo, I got my my deal on, okay? And I kind of like that I can prop the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, I prop these little arms, I can prop that in my belly, and uh, it just kind of props there. If I was to let it go, it's naturally going to tilt on over. Uh, typically for balance purposes, the, uh, the lantern should be able to connect up into here somewhere I would think would be a better, better place for it to connect for balance, but uh, whatever. All right, so we got that. Now today it's just way too windy uh, outside. Well, if I can get this over here. It's just way too windy outside uh, to actually fly the drone. I mean, the winds are 20 miles an hour with gusts to 30 something. So uh, what we, the only thing we're gonna do today or I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a test of the visibility of being able to see <coughs> what's going on out here in the sun. If I can't, at least with the uh, iPad, it's easier for me to make a sun shield <coughs> than it is over the phone. And also I've got a, a lot wider uh, <coughs> uh, viewing area. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, power this stuff up so I think uh, first thing I need to do is power up the uh, drone and then I'm going to power up the uh, controller and we'll see if it finds it, it. I don't know if it will or not. And then, No, Siri, I don't want any help. All right, so we're going to bring up the DJI app, and it looks like, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but the green light's on on here, and we've got the appropriate blinking there. So uh, the uh, controller has uh, 
uh, length itself. <clears throat> We're going to ignore that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course we're dark because we're inside. Uh, for right now, <clears throat> let's just, uh, we're not going to really care about any of this settings here because, uh, like I said, what we want to do is we want to know whether or not I can see this tablet out there. So I'm going to go ahead for the sake of, of uh, ease of carrying this. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to grab a little camera over here and take it with me so we can look and see if we can I'll see if I can film what I'm seeing. Is what we're going to do. Alright, so. Let me take this little camera. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring the uh, drone out. We'll just see if it can stay connected. <coughs> and again, I don't know what we're seeing. Now, I'm out in the sun. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The sun is in front of me. I can actually still see uh, the screen to some degree. Uh, not as clear as if it was in the dark, but I can see it. Uh, actually, with the sun behind me, I can still see it enough that if I wanted to operate it, I could. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera or not. So, I've got sun to my back. I can see the tablet. Uh, it would be better with a little sun shade on it, but it's not bad. I mean, there, there's no way I could see this. Uh, with my uh, smartphone, so I, I'm. Uh, I think this is going to do it. I think it's going to do it. So <clears throat> that's the other thing with the uh, cable setup. Uh, the minute I opened up the DJI Spark uh, app, it went right in and connected. And that's because I have this cable on there. Had I done Wi-Fi, then I would have had to have done uh, deal. Well, I'm going to have to set that down a second here. So like I said, it's uh, way too windy for me to uh, uh, film, I mean go fly. And so here in the barn, you know, naturally I don't have the uh, uh, satellites and stuff. Uh, also now I had bought off of eBay uh, this cable here which is the one that goes from the controller to the C USB-C on my phone so these are available too now this mount here uh, is available without the cable so if you know if you wanted this particular mount and uh, you wanted it for uh, Android you could buy it without the Apple cable and just pick up the Android uh, C cable uh, from either uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that. So yeah, like I said, I, I'm uh, impressed. Uh, I think I'm in video. Yeah, I'm seeing it counting down. So I'm just taking a little video because I want some video history in this particular uh, deal. Now the thing about it is, I noticed too, let's uh, let's uh, try something here. Okay, we'll put this 
spark up up on that box. So I've got that spark on that box there. And one thing I did notice, I can take my finger and put it on here. And let's see if it does it. Yeah, you see, I can actually pan up and down with just my finger on there. You know, that's really cool. Now, the, the Spark doesn't have the yaw pan like the Mavic does. Uh, it just has the up and down movement, and then it can do it like this to correct for bumping that away. <clears throat> but it doesn't do the, <clears throat> the panning this way. So that's pretty pretty good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I got this. So, you know, you probably won't find it for this. This is a Generation 6, 32 gigabyte. Uh, it's got the touch uh, unlock on it. Uh, uh, it's iOS 12. Uh, in the ad, it said it was iOS 11, but it came with iOS 12 in it. And I got it from Walmart on the Black Friday for 249 so I guess that's a good deal. I could have bought a uh, Android tablet for you know a fraction of the cost of an Apple. Apple is just way overpriced. But you know they got people that go, "Ooh, it's an Apple. I got to have an Apple. Ooh, ooh, I'll buy an Apple even if it's a million dollars, and I can get another thing over here." There's people out there like that. I'm not like that. Uh, I did. I hunted and hunted and hunted and hunted until I found the best deal I could get on on it. Anyway, that's about two minutes of video taken of it doing nothing but just looking out the door at the uh, other camera stand and this. So anyway, uh, yeah, that way you guys, if you're looking, maybe this camera's seeing that. So anyway, like I said, uh, there's a couple little things that I will probably do uh, on this. Uh, it's got a uh, ball mount right here that can move within that ball uh, relatively uh, easy under the weight. You can't lock it down. So probably what will happen is once I decide the angle, I'll actually drill a little small hole through this still and put a screw or a pin, and that will keep uh, that from moving in any place else I can find that it's moving I will then either tighten up or glue it you know and uh, so that it can't move anymore so anyway the uh, tablet mount or phone mount either way is to me the way to go uh, you know, like I said, they make the one that goes in here instead of clipping around uh, and stuff. Uh, if that's, you know, more what you prefer. I wanted this one, which, which came around. It may not be as good as the other one that goes in there. I don't know because I didn't get it. So, uh, anyway, I'll put a link to, to this one and the other style that's uh, in there. And... Uh, bring the deal back up it was looking down but I'll, I'll like I said I'll bring that in there and uh, you know I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, holder and stuff like that for the uh, the drone uh, the tablet was definitely worth it uh, out there in the Sun I was actually able to see yes it, it did have some washout on it but I could still see the video I could tell what the drone was looking at I could still see some of my buttons and stuff, the primary ones that I would need uh, on there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, whenever it, the weather uh, or the wind knocks down, then we'll do some actual flight test outside. Do some using the controller, do some using the gesture mode. Uh, I'm going to try the gesture mode too because that may be the simplest on the tractor for me to do is I can basically just with gestures tell the thing to back off and then follow me and then I can get on the tractor and drive around and it'll follow me. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that works out and then we'll also do some with, uh, with this. Anyway, uh, that's about all I'm going to cover on this video. We'll do some other stuff. Uh, down the road and 
uh, try to get some actual drawn footage of me doing some stuff, you know, maybe going and digging with a backhoe or something like that. So anyway, uh, oh, one thing I wanted to say, okay, uh, as of this morning, I think my subscriptions, there was like 192 subscribers on there, and I think at one time it showed I was up to 2-4, but then it didn't stay for long and people unsubscribe it. And, that, and that's fine. I mean, I, I can understand that, okay? Uh, they come in and go, oh, this guy's talking about that. And then, you know, I had a long delay, or whatever else, or they decided that I wasn't talking about something the way they wanted it to be talked about. I don't, it, I don't really care. I don't know. But anyway, I'm like at 192. So what I'm going to try to do right now, even though it's kind of a bad time of the year for me, you know, you got... I still got a roofing to do. I had to go spend all the money to go to my daughter's wedding. I got all this medical stuff. I got, you know, Christmas, everything else. The wife's got to buy a Christmas junk for people. Uh, so uh, those type of things. But what I'm going to try to do is, is once I cross the 200 uh, mark, which is only like eight, nine uh, subscribers away, once I cross that, then I'm going to, I'm going to put up a video and I'm actually going to give away uh, a uh, action camera. Uh, now it's not going to be one of these uh, high dollar GoPros or something like that. I mean, listen guys, I, I, I live in uh, uh, on a farm with a farmhouse that's just barely above green acre status. For those of you who know what, know what green acre is, uh, I'm on a fixed income and stuff like that. So it's not going to be a you know, super high dollar, but I'm going to try to find a decent one. I've been looking at several that are basically GoPro clones. Uh, and why I, 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 I want to do that? Well, co uh, one thing I want to reward uh, uh, the people that have subscribed to me and stayed subscribed to me and the ones that watch my videos. The other thing too is a lot of them have tractors, they have this and everything else and they're sitting there with one camera. And if any, if any of you guys have followed me, you know I'm a multi-camera guy. I have cameras over here, over there, over there. I believe in capturing video from as many different places as I can and then put it together. So I'm thinking, you know, if I, if I get a, a, a nice little action camera, uh, you know, set up, then uh, uh, hopefully whoever wins it will utilize it to make their videos better. And that's the main reason, okay? Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm going to get something that's, uh, a GoPro clone, uh, that way the mounts and everything else, there'll be a lot of mounts with it, there'll be some other ones, but you can do all kind of mounting and get out there and get some videos uh, going. That's about it. Thank everybody for watching. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Uh, I really do. And uh, so, you know, hopefully what I do is the interest of people. People like to watch what I do. Uh, you don't? You don't? Okay, I understand. But anyway, that's, all, that's it. I'm going to power all this stuff down and uh, 